All right, today we're going to review one of the simple experiments we performed in our photonics laboratory course, the absorption and emission of rhodamine CG. So we measure the absorption and emission spectra, not only of this laser dye, but also of different materials. So we know when light propagates through a medium of thickness L, light can be either reflected entered or transmitted part of the light though goes through a process called absorption when the energy is uh, taken from the beam or scattering When the molecules or, or the atoms present in the medium can scatter the light in all directions. So it's not absorbed, it, absorbed. it doesn't involve either electronic or vibrational transitions, but light is just scattered. In, in the sum of absorption plus scattering, is what we call extinction. So in our experiment we are actually measuring extinction. Alright, so when the light propagates through the medium, it can go undergo the process of extinction. And in this case, the light will be attenuated. So if the input intensity is I0, so when light propagates here, the intensity will decay and as we know this decay for a uniform medium is exponential so it follows what we call the Beer, Beer's law where the intensity as a function of the position so if this is the z position so the intensity as a function of z is equal to I0 e to minus alpha z. So when z is equal to L, the length of the medium, then we get simply I is equal to I0 e to minus alpha. So our goal was to calculate the alpha, the so-called attenuation coefficient. And then we can show by simple, der simple derivation, we can show that i divided by a zero is equal to minus alpha L and if you take, take the uh, natural logarithm of this you get a ln E minus alpha L which becomes then minus alpha L is equal to L n I divided by a zero and then you can write that alpha is equal to 1 over the length of the medium I is not divided by i. Alright, so as we know from this expression, the decay will be exponential, so if this is i, so the input intensity is I0, and this is decay exponentially. And when z is equal to L, you get the output light. So let's call it I out. So in your experiment, you, you build a simple 
spectrometer. In this case, you have a so you have a white light source. Right here, 